for Vlogtober, my intention is just to challenge myself and change myself. Hey guys, it's Tasha Simone. Welcome to Vlogtober day one on my channel. As for the month of October, I'm committing to kind of changing my lifestyle for a month. I I'm going to be eating a higher fat diet. I'm used to a pretty high carb diet, so we're just going to switch things around. Um, and I'm going to kind of try to live my best life possible. So I'm going to take you guys along on this experience. And to start it off right, I just did my weight check-in. I'm 181.2. That's my starting weight for the month. I'm hoping to lose hopefully about four pounds by the end of the month. And I'm gonna hit the gym to start things off right. So I'm walking to the gym. Um, just finished my first bottle of water, so I logged that. And I'm gonna be doing some, just some body weight exercises because last week I did my final week of strength focus rather than hypertrophy or endurance. So I'm gonna continue in the pattern that I've had set up and do a deload week. Take it a little easy, but still get some movement in, get some body weight exercises. Yeah. I'm back. Um, super sweaty, as you can tell. I ended up doing basically all that I did today was intervals. Now I'm walking back to my apartment, gonna get my protein shake and get ready for work. My shake is almost gone already, but I realized I should film an update. Yeah, this thing is delicious. So I did organ powder with coconut milk and almond butter. Um, and then I put it into my fitness pal and this thing is like 53% fat, which is scary to me, but I think I need to get used to it. Um, because it's also likely gonna be my like lowest carb meal of the day because there is barely any carbs in this thing. Um, this thing broke down to, I think, 24 grams of carbs, 26 grams of fat, and 28 grams of protein. I could drink this every freaking day. This is so good. Um, now I need to start thinking about what I'm gonna do for lunch. So this is gonna be a very interesting month um, and I kind of want to give you guys an intro into what I'm foreseeing unfolding over the course of October. So with the food that I've eaten and prepared for today already, I'm uh, well over the macro percentages in fat, which I was like scared I wasn't going to be capable of. Um, and I had actually been reading some articles about doing like a high fat diet and this little, one lady was recommending to herself and all her clients that she gets like a minimum of 50% of healthy fats, um, calories from healthy fats, which sounded insane to me. But that's about where I'm at so far. So originally I thought my macro splits were gonna be between 30 to 35% for carbs, protein, and fat. 
And what I'm realizing is that I might actually do closer to 50% fat and much less carbs. I do seem to be falling behind a little bit on my protein, so I'm gonna have to address that later in the day. For Vlogtober, my intention is just to challenge myself and change myself. Hopefully see if the challenge does any change. Um, that's really gonna be my theme, like, and kind of facing food fears and just going against what I've been doing the last two years just to see if, see how my body responds. I like experimenting on myself. There, there might be a couple days where I don't get a video up, but I'm gonna do my best to do every day of Vlogtober. But I'll try to make it fun, try to make it interesting, and we'll see where this gets us. It's cold today. It was 44 degrees when I woke up this morning. So yeah, it's comfy sweatshirt day. I'm currently on my way to work and Unfortunately, I can't show you guys any footage from work because I work in a secure building, but I'll check in with you guys pretty soon. Okay, so I've just been thinking for a little bit, still on my wood work, but I'm realizing now is that I want to get over my fear of fat in foods um, because I think it is definitely a bit of a fear. Like there have been so many foods that I've just like turned away because it's there's too much fat in it and granted I don't want to just go like chugging canola oil but I do want to make sure that I'm getting enough healthy fats um, and I want to make sure that I'm giving my body what it needs so I've decided I'm kind of going to more or less throw the macros out the window I think my biggest goal is to hit my 144 grams of protein so that I can maintain my muscle mass. Otherwise, I'm just going to focus on eating higher in healthy fat foods and not be too concerned about the ratio of carbs to fat. If I end up eating 50% fat, I guess it'll be okay. We'll see. It's only for a month. I can handle it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's like a weird thing to realize. It's day one and we're already getting deep. We're already hitting some personal issues. Also, I will never stop stressing the importance of water. I'm almost done with my second bottle of the day and it's not even 10 o'clock, so drink up. Good afternoon, you guys. It is almost one o'clock. I'm on my fifth bottle of water now. I forgot how much water I drank until I started tracking it today. It's kind of crazy, um, but definitely good. So for lunch, I ended up making some uh, avocado crisp bread with tofu. It's so delicious and really, really filling. I could definitely eat that basically every day for lunch. And I feel really good. I feel very, very satiated. I also packed some almonds for a snack and I'm trying to eat enough calories um, and like I have this idea that possibly my metabolism is damaged from calorie restriction and then like binging cycles, so many things. Um, and even if I don't lose weight this month, I'm hoping that by eating a proper amount of calories that I will help to heal the damage that's been done to my metabolism. Um, some people call it reverse dieting it's not that i'm eating like an extreme excess of calories but it's much more than i'm used to really so far i'm feeling pretty good and i'm optimistic about the month ahead and if you're wondering where i am and what i'm doing i'm on my near daily walk for the second half of my lunch hour i try to like eat lunch and about 20 to 30 minutes or less, and then just go walk around the neighborhood and park just to get some extra steps in for the day. I mean, between walking to and from the gym this morning and going on the treadmill for a bit and this walking, I'm already at 7,500 steps for the day. So that's really gonna be helpful in me heading my 10,000 step goal um, consistently on work days. So a bit of an update, um, I got home from work a while ago. Uh, at work I had the almonds that I packed as a snack as well as a little piece of chocolate. 
Um, and I just tracked those so they're all in the my fitness pal and when I got home I knew I needed more protein so I had some seitan with some hummus and a uh, nut butter cliff bar and I'm still like more than a hundred calories away from like my minimum goal of 1550 and it's weird because I'm not necessarily hungry but I know I'm also way off of my protein goal still this is just such a different <laughs> different way and mindset of eating, but I'm really gonna do my best. So right now I'm gonna make a protein shake. Also, if I look red and warm and sweaty, it's because we decided to go to the gym um, again because my husband usually works out after work uh, and he waited for me to get home to see if I wanted to go on a run with him. All the treadmills at the gym were taken, so we went on the elliptical for like 30 minutes. So that was, another good workout. <laughs> so that's also why I figure some protein would be good right now. So that protein shake I think is gonna be it for the night. It is 7 30 and like I said I don't want to eat past 8. I'm within my calorie range. I didn't quite hit my protein goal, but 144 grams of protein is a lot. And that reminded me of something that I read, which was that you, uh, for the 0.8 grams per pound number, you mainly need to be concerned about your lean body mass um, or your fat-free body weight, which according to my fancy scale thing, uh, my fat-free body weight is 137.2. So I redid the calculation and based on the 137 number, um, I should be eating about 110 grams of protein to maintain my muscle mass. So I think that's a more realistic number. I'm still gonna like aim for 144. It's just that's a lot of protein. I'm gonna stick in the 110 to 144 range, I think. My final counts for the day, 1,660 calories, 117 grams of carbs, 92 grams of fat, which just seems insane to me, but I feel really good. So, so far so good. And 118 grams of protein, which I'm happy to report is over my needs as far as lean mass calculations. So we're doing pretty good for day one. I also drank uh, seven bottles of water. I might drink another by the time I go to bed. So I've consumed like 175 fluid ounces of water along with a cup of coffee and a cup of tea. Um, I also tracked the almond milk that I put in the coffee and the tea uh, in my, my fitness pal screen capture, which I'll include here. I slept for 6 hours and 47 minutes according to Fitbit and I got 18,000 steps since I went to the gym twice and I went on a walk at work. So really <laughs> I would say this is a fantastic start to my month of October. I'm basically keeping track of these numbers. I'm just gonna every day write out all those goals, all the daily goals and the numbers correlating to them, seeing what I'm trying to hit, and track my progress like that. Yeah, I'm less scared about the month than I was this morning. So thank you for tuning in to my episode one of Vlogtober. I'm gonna do my best to keep this up the whole month. And I'm gonna do my best to keep this up the whole month and keep tuning in and letting you guys know what's going on with me, how my body is changing and responding to this thing. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this yet, but some sort of change. Change is happening.